So, a couple, I think, you know, no, I think it was yesterday. Yesterday, Dragon Age uh, did a gameplay reveal trailer. And Gray is really, really upset. He made a video of, uh, about it a couple of days ago for Project Egg Roll. So we're going to check out the gameplay trailer. I heard it's not good. Compared to what we had before, I heard it's really, really bad. So let's go ahead and check it out right over here. And if you look at it right over here, it already has 71,000 likes and 117,000 dislikes, which is really awful. This is really bad. So uh, let's, see. let's see. Let's see this game if it's good, right? Let's check it out. Fucking loud. Holy crap. Got scared straight? You got scared gay? I hope Nev's as good at finding people as you claim. She's the best damn detective I've ever met. If she says she's got a lead on Solus, I believe her. Okay. Looks all right. We be in more of a hurry to get out of here. We don't want to look conspicuous. Just get out of here nice and casual. Find Nev Gallus and stop Solus. Looks all right so far. Custom appearance. still think you can talk him down before he starts his big ritual? That ritual is going to tear down the veil. The only thing separating us from the Fade and an endless number of demons. I have to talk him down. Damn, that her ass is huge! Wait, Wait she's wearing parachute pants. Anything. Get down. Alright, is there a nudity in this game? Are they after us. Is it because of the bar? Word travels fast in Minrathus. We've got to help her. Her tits aren't that big, unfortunately. We don't have time to get arrested, especially. Okay. Started, but if we hurry, we can still stop Solus before it finishes. Let's go. Can Honest you grab the girl's way. ass? Okay, never mind. You just leave. I better see a dragon, man. If this game's called Dragon Age, I better see a fucking dragon. Drag at these nuts. I guess as the veil is weakening, and they're slipping through the traps. When the veil comes down completely. Wait, do you can you not fight the monsters? The oh, okay. World, Scripted. Going like What's going on, Snap Balls? going, man? Come so on, so far, this game looks very, fight. very stylized. And I'm not sure if, if, if it's supposed to look like that. Right? It's very, very stylized. It looks very generic, actually. Like, in terms of combat, it looks... Or just the gameplay so far it looks very generic. The style itself looks very You're stylized, like sort of. Get inside and bar the I don't know, sort of like can, um. Okay? Thank you, miss. Excuse me, like a riot. Sort of like a riot. You all right? I've been doing what I can to help. The ritual must Lays be harding. There are a lot of scary Well, based off how she looks, I'm definitely softening. A lot of demons. Haven't seen this many come through the fade in years. And what about you two? Are you okay? Little shaky, never better in a hurry. We're good, but we need to move. Agreed. Solus isn't waiting, neither can we. Have you got my gear? Right over there. Do you know what would have been better? Where's if this game was Dallas? like Baldur's Gate Wasn't 3. The meeting point? Holy crap, that game was great, man. I played through that game three times. We her before we arrived and paid off the so far, I haven't seen combat yet, so I don't know how this combat is supposed to be. Did something to piss off a All games are going to start looking ge uh, generic because it's cheaper and faster to make. That sucks, man. That sucks. Do you know Can you what game doesn't look generic you? and looks fucking awesome? That has woke elements in it? Baldur's Gate 3. And it's fucking amazing. And this is nowhere near my neighborhood. I can try. Don't worry. Scouting's my specialty. Follow me. Eyes up. We've got company. 
Oh, let me see the combat. Demons, here they come. It looks sort of slow. Some parts looks cool, some parts looks okay. Some parts looks really slow. Okay, off the bat right now, it's looking at the combat. The, there's no impact when it comes to attacking the enemies. I don't feel the impact. Standardization is the death of art. Yeah, man. Everything looks the same, dude. Y if you tell me these guys are from like Riot, like I'll be like, all right, cool. Can you not sprint? I don't get it. If Solus tears down the veil, doesn't that destroy everything? Well, this gate three is a beast. I bought the collector's edition, which was limited for 300 and then sold on eBay for 18 Jeez, after a one game of the year. Inquisition has the same problem. Combat had no co impact. Yeah. Like what? Chat, in your opinion, I've never played any Dragon Age game. I, I bet you a lot of people online would be like, oh, if you didn't, if you didn't play the game, you should have no no fucking uh input on the gameplay and or you know bullshit like that it's like bitch if i see shit and i smell shit i don't have to eat it to know that it's shit but yeah um what is the best dragon age game put up a barrier to block the way more intruders avenge our fallen brethren do you know what this game needs like sp like uh like hit sparks like sort of like a uh, final fantasy it needs more. It's very limited. It needs more hit sparks. Like Final Fantasy VII Remake? It needs more of that. There's no like, ooh, ay, ay, ooh. It wasn't, there's any, there isn't any of that. I wish there was. The first one, and all goes down after that. Damn, that sucks. It looks mid. So far, what we're looking at, it looks mid. And a lot of people are like, oh, this game is still in early uh, early access or beta or whatever, right? And it's going to change. It's going to look different. It's going to it's gonna be better and better and better. It's like, what the hell is this? That's that's so stupid, in my opinion. That's so, I, I, I don't like the fact that your game completely pauses. Well, he missed. Nice. Nice whiff. I hate the fact that the game completely pauses when you're using an ability, right? Like, it's sort of like, it would be cool if it's like a, it became a slow motion, sort of like um, tactical mode, like Final Fantasy VII. I wish it was like Final Fantasy VII Remake, where like whenever you go use your spells, everything goes slow motion. The dumb health bar above the mobs is so overdone. Yeah, it doesn't need that. It's a little bit too big in my opinion. Yeah, th that it slows the game down to a fucking halt. It grinds the shit to a dick, man. Like it's so slow. It, it makes the game feels like it's slow. But was this game always like action combat like this? Or was it like a different style before? Does she have big tits? Can't tell. Eric, hiding. Not the worst timing. It's so good to see you. We thought the Venatori had kidnapped you. Aw, Dragon, uh, Aw, Dragon, where you pause? Okay. I wish it didn't, but if they're trying to keep it, if they want to keep it like consistent, I guess it's fine. But in my opinion, I think it sort of slowed down time. Like it's just like, like that, I, I think it will, it will be better, but that's that's my opinion though. The first one was pure strategy game? Isn't that a coincidence? Wait, you're saying that... You're saying that the first Dragon Age game was like Baldur's Gate 3? Or like, you know, sort of like, it's like, um, turn-based, like, tabletop style? Varric said you had a lead on Solus. You get right to the point. Main reason for the health bar is dumb, is that all you look at? You miss all the heavenly glory, yeah. I, haven't seen I wish it was smaller, medicine, sort of like um, I did find Dark Souls magic. or Elden Ring. Like the health bar is a little smaller. I 
traced it to a building beneath Our Lady of Victory. That's where your man is hiding. Then let's go, before this ritual he's doing gets any worse. Worse? This ritual's already drawing more power than I'd expect from a dozen mages. You told me he was working alone. I also told you he was an ancient elven god. An elven god? Well, whatever he is, he's causing trouble in my city. All right. All citizens in the canal districts must remain in their homes. It looks okay. Yeah, it was more RTS than action RPG. They should have left it like that, in my opinion. Like I, I remember. I never played any Baldur's Gate three. I mean, I've never played Baldur's Gate other than Baldur's Gate three. And I was not interested in anything Dungeons and Dragon related style kind of games, uh, where you roll a dice and everything like that. And then I was coerced to play it last year, and it is one of the best games I've played in a very long time. It's so good. And and I love the fact that it was uh, turn-based RTS style. Maybe they didn't want to copy Baldur's Gate? I don't know. Okay, there it is. Um, there's a little bit more hit effects. But it has no impact. You know how like when you're playing a game, whenever you hit a, you hit the enemy, you feel the impact? Like it feels good? Like this game has like none of that. That was lackluster. But maybe they were just lazy and didn't want to make a, uh, make a strategy game? Yeah, definitely. You could be right. Zero weight animation? Yeah. Like everything is floaty as fuck. Does it feel like those tremors are getting worse? Keep moving and try not to think about it. Team battles are way deeper into Arlefin Forest until they arrive at So Ass's ritual site. Okay, that looks like a Nomura monster. Demon, quickly. Yeah, in my opinion, I think this grinds to a halt, but maybe, I don't know, maybe people like it, but for me, I think it just, it makes it look like pause menu, you know? You're sort of like not really, because this seems like an action type of game, right? So you're gonna not want your menu to pause? I don't know, I don't know, man, that's just me. Yeah, the dodge mechanic sort of sucks too. Like I'm looking at it, like it, the animation isn't like in like it'll be cool if there was like more some kind of like weight animation. There's like some kind of like the impact is not there. Like I said, chat. Like God of War, yeah. God of War has a lot of hit and like when when Kratos get hit. And when you use Kratos to hit someone, you feel the impact. You're like, ah, you feel like you're Kratos, which is fucking awesome. It just looks like uh, every other third person or action RPG, yeah. Pride Month Demon? It uh, makes sense, but you know, that the fact that it's June. Pride Demon is perfect. The other symptom is that the company goes woke and drives out all their good white devs or places them with new uncreative Berkeley students. Oh man, diversity hires, or if you don't hire me, you're a racist. Oh, I don't want to be racist. Let's hire all these pieces of shit. That was it? You killed the boss? That was so anticlimactic. Lame, dude. That was lame as fuck. Yeah, the, the characters are, all, they look pretty generic, man. They look, they look like Riot stuff. Like, it, it looks very similar to Riot stuff. Yeah, Pride Demon. Yeah, true. All right. 
Like especially the from here. the dwarf. Are you sure? Positive. You three just keep the demons off me while I talk to him. Varric, Solus isn't gonna stop just because an old friend asks nicely. Solus needs someone to sell him another option to help him justify changing his mind. Riot characters are way prettier. Yes, though at least the women are. Oh, Varric, the we the women are we way prettier talk. for sure. Like, look at, my friend, look at Ari. I look how big her tits are. <laughs> look at, uh, <laughs> look at Sona. Look how big her tits are. Yeah, Valorant characters are awesome. Yeah, like Viper. More demons. Yeah. Like, look. <laughs> like, this one, it looks like, it, it, it's like, it's like we have, you know, Riot at home kind of thing. Like, I'm not saying that every character needs to have big tits, but every character needs to have big tits. Hey, Chuckles. Hope I'm not interrupting. Okay. Wow, look at that jump. Hey, Which it's so floaty, on? dude. The way that he, the black guy jumped off of that ledge, it's like, there's like no impact when he lands. I hope Eric is getting through to Solus. Maybe it needs some sound effects. I don't know. Or Nikkei? That is true. That is very true. Like there's no imp. Like if the enemies impact, like there's a hit reaction from on, on the enemy, like it would feel a little bit better. He's just like. Eh, 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 eh. Like, my dick twitches harder than that shit. What are you talking about? Do that in NBA all the time? <laughs> oh, shit. Go to Kapiton, you have to go, man. By drowning the world in demons? I have taken precautions to minimize the damage, Varric. Minimize the... People are dying right now. You need to listen. Oh, well, I'm gonna shoot you. Please. Damn, he blew your dick off. What are you gonna do about it? People are always dying. It is what they do. Okay. Shit. We need a better plan. Do you want me to take the shot? Won't work. He's too powerful. What if we disrupt the ritual? How? See those statues? If we break the scaffolding holding that one up. So I'm assuming the black guy is the. It's risky. It's the main it's character, right? You use that. So, so this is a create your own character type of situation. Demons. Varric needs us to hold them off. Right. You two stay here. For equality, Phil wants statue. men to have what? humongous pectoral no. muscles too. Yes. Yes. Look how buff and thick like Ryu is in Street Fighter Six. He's fucking huge. Look how big Zangief is. And look at how big Chun Li's tits and ass are. Like, it's like Japan knows how to work their games. Japan knows what the fans want. American development studios don't know what the fuck they want. And they're, the fact that, oh, we're trying to make a game for everyone. Games are for everyone. But the thing is that as a person who studied marketing, keep the demons off us. Like I, you got it. you're supposed to cater to your demographic the most, but leave in spots where other people can enjoy the game. But your pr main focus for your marketing and your demographic is supposed to be nerdy dudes that love Lord of the Rings, right? If you if your demographic is everyone, you're making a game for no one. Black character is the magical one, yes. My Shiranui, yes. The American Society of Magical Negroes. <laughs> oh, man. That's so slow. What the fuck is that, dude? You have two... You have a sword and a dagger. Hit it faster, man. Why? Why tear down the veil? Knowing all the lives it'll cost. We shared yeah, every, everyone is, is basically allowed echo chain. Yeah, it's a custom made diversity by by you can make whatever to start. But no surprise, you got to select your own pronoun. Yeah, you got to select pronouns and then this guy probably doesn't have a penis. 
Because this is a trans person. And you can actually have scars on the boobs area where the boobs used to be. The West used to have big sexy characters. They're also exclu exclu excluding big titties right now. Yeah. Like, look at what Riot used to be. Riot used to have big titties everywhere. Now they have no tits everywhere. Shoot his asshole! Shoot his ass! Ooh, big dick suckers right there. It's okay, it's okay. It's okay at best, man. It's this this game is not great. It looks okay. The, the fact that it has okay, let me refresh it. 71 117. Right? At 71 117. It is that same thing. 71 117. It's it's not great. It has 2.1 million views. It, if it lacks impact, the gameplay is very generic. I can't tell it apart from other games that are like, oh, this looks like a game for mobile. Like, it, it has no, it has nothing that dif differentiates itself from a different game. And it, and it sucks. Zipper tits? Yes. <laughs> Zipper tits. Yes, true. Why is Tom Hardy from Star Trek Nemesis in this bounty here? <laughs> I don't know, man. What's going on, Tom B? How's it going, man? Tom, Tom Bay. But yeah, uh, like, like, if you look at it, uh, let me actually put um, Dragon Age uh, 1. I, I, I don't know what it's called. Dragon Age Origins? This is 11 years ago. This is this is a this is a this is a trailer. Sex sexual content and nudity? Count me in. Wait. How excited is Phil about all the characters in Dragon Age being pansexual? What is that thing? Dragon Age Veil Guard romance details revealed, including confirmation that all companions will be pansexual. When they say pansexual, are they talking about like a frying pan? Of course, we are an M rated game. We do have nudity. I guarantee this is all like fucking big dicks and small ass, small titty big dicks. God, dude, it's so, that's so fucking that that's that's so fucking stupid, man. That that's so dumb. He Pans have suck of everything. The legend says the tomb sits atop this peak. <sighs> Lovely. We can freeze to death while digging for the bones of a mad woman. Okay. I saw some cleavage already. This game, this trailer is already better. This trailer is already better than the entire gameplay that we saw. Yeah, just another thing they're trying to normalize gay as fuck, yeah. Damn, that's badass. Damn, let's go. Why can't they make this game? Why can't they just take the blueprint from part Dragon Age 1 and apply it to the current game right now? That red-headed girl still looks like Katarina from League. And she's hot. Then look at all that skin. The righteous stand before the darkness. You saw the hot. The maker shall guide their hand. Just so it looks like Octokuro. I don't know who that is. I just, I just made that name up, but just so it looks like her. See, like this has weight. I can feel whenever they are attacking the enemies. I can feel the the, the, the energy. That her tits are huge. That's sick. 
She also looks like Octokuro. Cool. Damn, turn to a spider. Oh, fuzzy. We didn't see a dragon at all in the, the fucking gameplay for Veil Dicks, and then we see a dragon in this one. <laughs> cool. Now this is badass. Okay. Sick. Damn, look at her fucking huge massive tits, chat. Damn, he shocked his dick off. I mean, the eyes. Chat 2009 2009 A game from 2009 looks way better and I'm talking about cinematic compared to cinematic Oh my god, dude Yep, yeah, uh Yeah. Game, game, the, the new one's gonna suck. Right? We, we just watched the gameplay trailer, like half of it was CG, uh, basically cutscenes. But I'm comparing this, this trailer to the trailer that we got a couple of days ago. This is, this has way more impact. There's, the girls are hot. They have big titties. The guys are badass. There's fucking rock and roll music. You're fucking listening to Sabaton or fucking Hammerfall in the background. Like, that's, you gotta fucking admit, man, like, this game, this game right over here that we, that we just saw with the girl with the big-ass titties, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop, I'm gonna stop right over here where, where, where the big titty showed up. Uh, okay, okay, hold on, okay, oh, wait, 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 where, where the big titty at? Okay, okay, when, when she does a Hadouken, I'm gonna pause it right over there, when she does the Hadouken... Like, right, oh, this is a good spot to stop. There we go. There we go. All right. So, right over here, um, you have hot girls. You have hot guys fighting a fucking dragon with fucking Sabaton or, like, Hammerfall playing in the background, right? And the thing is, this game's demographic are for neckbeards and, like, nerds and geeks that loves video games, that loves fantasy. It's for people who love, uh, what's it called again? Um... Dungeons and Dragons for, is for people who love Lord of the Rings. That's what the game is catered for originally. Now the game is catered to, oh, yeah, that, 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 that. It's catered for those pieces of shit. Man. Yeah, yeah. How far we've fallen, man. We've fallen fucking very far, dude. Holy shit. It's, it's, it's over, man. This, this game is not going to do well. Now, here's the thing. Like I always say, I, I will be loved to be proven wrong. I will love to be proven wrong that Dragon Age Veil suck, Veil ass dick, dick farts is going to blow my ass away. It's going to fucking rip me, rip me another asshole because it's so good. But based off of what I've seen so far, the game looks like a 5 out of 10 at best. The, the trailer is so, so boring. It's so stupid. It sort of reminds me of like, <laughs> Avengers Assemble, <laughs> and you know, and then it shows like the name of a character when they pop him. It's sort of like you're playing 
Fortnite or you're playing Valorant or something like that. You're, you're, you're playing some kind of like some kind of boring ass like sh shooter game versus this one. This trailer right over here, you see a badass CGI scene. You're like, wow, that's awesome. I could be I get to be a guy and, you know, ha see a girl with big ass tits. Sign me up. Let's fucking go. But no, we get cringe shit, pansexual shit, man.